This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. How would you like to get a brand new car right before the holidays? For a reaction to that, you can ask Margo Clark of Crown Point. As part of the celebration of their 94th year in the region, Strachan Van Til handed Clark a set of keys at Garber Chevrolet in Highland. Clark didn't believe it at first. I thought momentarily that it was someone playing a giant joke on us. Because who gives away a car, right? The answer to that is pretty simple. Here's Jeff Strack. It's just a small way for us to say thank you to our customers for shopping us for all these years here. We had a drawing and she won. So, uh, you know, but it's, it's, a real, um, it's a real honor to be able to celebrate our anniversary and to be part of Northwest Indiana for all these years. And it's a small way for us to create some excitement for our customers. And at the end of the day, you know, show our appreciation for everything that our customers do for us. Strachan Van Til isn't the only one spreading holiday cheer with a giveaway. Cleveland Cavaliers guard Darius Garland and his foundation are doing their part this holiday season. The Gary native is giving away 40 hats and coach the students at Banneker at Marquette Elementary School on Tuesday. We are honored that Mr. Garland continues to give back to a community that played a vital part in his formative education, said Principal Shaitra Wade. The students will greatly benefit from this generous donation. A fire broke out for the second time in six months at the abandoned Emerson High School in Gary on Saturday night. According to the Gary Fire Department, the two alarm fire started around 9.45 p.m. at the four-story building. No injuries were reported according to first responders. A fire last broke out at the Bacon School in June. The Gary Fire Department and the Indiana State Fire Marshals are still investigating the cause of the fire. And in sports, East Chicago Central met Munster on Friday with a chance to beat the Mustangs for the first time since 2017. Here's a look at that game. Outside for sure. Wallace from way downtown, and finally one goes down the hatch for the Cardinals, and we're tied up at nine. Ball loose, and it's picked up by Nolan Kinsella. Here he comes down the coast lane, count it, plus the foul. Rich, Rich crosses over to the corner. All of the, Walker all again, bottoms, <laughs> and that is the ball game. East Chicago Central for the first time since 2017-18 has defeated the Munster Mustangs. To read up on other local headlines, head to nwi.com as well as jedtv.com. I'm Andrew Garcia and this has been your 219 News Now.